The news tonight concerning Blue Valley coach Eric Driscoll is not good. Doctors say Driscoll has suffered irreversible brain damage. He's being kept on life support right now so his organs can be donated. As you can imagine, it is heartbreaking for his family, kids at Blue Valley, and the entire community. KCTV 5's Amy Anderson is live tonight with more on this news and information about brain aneurysms. Amy? Well, Brad and Ellen, this was certainly not the news that anyone wanted to hear. But tonight, the coach's family has given doctors here at Research Medical Center the OK to share the medical update with the community and also just to take the opportunity to educate everyone a little bit on aneurysms. There's very few families um, that could cope with a situation uh, like this with as much grace and caring as they are. With everything coach Eric Driscoll's family is dealing with right now, they sure don't have to think about how they can help others. And yet they are asking doctors to explain the devastating disease that's hit their loved one. An aneurysm is a blister on a blood vessel. So just like a balloon, the larger it gets, the more likely it is to rupture and pop. Doctors call it one of the most dangerous diseases in the world and say 15% of the people who suffer a ruptured brain aneurysm don't even make it to the hospital. The ones who do have very tough odds to beat as well. The type of aneurysm that struck Coach Driscoll is more likely to happen to women, people with high blood pressure, and smokers. Many times it has no symptoms until the onset of what they described as the worst headache you can imagine. That's what happened to Coach Driscoll. It is not recommended the general public get screened for aneurysms. However, people with family history, kidney disorders, and blood vessel disorders should talk to their doctor. Just a small, informative message from doctors who did everything they could to save a man loved by so many. Coach Driscoll was all about love, it was all about support, about being part of the community. So if there's something that, that people could take back from that is that message that you know of love and compassion and support and trying to make everybody better and try to make themselves better um, that's what they would want and the coach's family also wants to let the blue valley community and kansas city in general know how much they appreciate the outpouring of support and prayers during this very difficult time they are asking for privacy over the next several days Reporting live tonight in Kansas City, Missouri, Amy Anderson, KCTV 5 News. Thank you, Amy. Today on Facebook, Driscoll's wife Carrie addressed the outpouring of support her family has received. She wrote, I cannot imagine the positive impact and reach my husband has had on so many lives in his 43 years. The texts, messages, posts, tweets, videos, prayers, and pictures are overwhelming. This morning, hundreds of Blue Valley students gathered on the football field to pray for Coach Driscoll and his family. They also leaned on one another for support during this difficult time.